What is going on, guys? This is X Factor Gaming, and happy holidays, everybody. I think you could tell what we're playing, but just in case, it's Home Alone 2 Lost in New York on the NES. Now, let's take a look at this cutscene to see what, what's going on. Now, this is taken from the scene in the movie where they're trying to. Well, they're trying to. I guess. They found out that Kevin had used his stolen credit cards, and they're trying to find him. Or they're trying to. I forget the. The exact scene in the movie. Thankfully, this isn't time, so you can do what you need to do. Oh, uh, that's not what I needed to do. Okay, so you gotta slide into anything you can here. And just keep moving. Now, the music the music is the main drawback. It gets old after a little bit. Paying attention. Sorry about that. Let's let's go right back to it. So the music is repetitive. The graphics actually are pretty decent for an NES game. Plays pretty well for the movie it's based off of. I'll say that. Okay, so that's how you're gonna get past people. You gotta shoot them with that gun. Or use the. Up here, you want to use this, which was a necklace, by the way. Why did he throw a key? I never understood that. I still don't. Like I said, the music is pretty repetitive though. But it is taken from the movie, so at least there's that. Your weapons are not going to help any at all when you get back to the elevator. Because you can't, sh to get rid of the suitcases, you got to slide into them. Makes no sense. When in the movie did he ever slide into a suitcase, right? I'll slide underneath the ladies. That's what I usually do. Just wait for him to jump up in the air and then slide under him and then jump over that hotel bellboy. Get rid of the. We're doing pretty good here. Just move as fast as you possibly mother friggin' can. This is much easier to do in the Super Nintendo variation of the game. Wait, I slid there. Why didn't that work? Let you slide. Okay, so the controls are not as responsive as I'd like as we'd like them to be. We get an extra life for every five pieces of pizza that we collect. We have three now, so I gotta find two more. Shouldn't be hard, they're laying about. And random place, there's one. One more and I have an extra life coming to me, which I need. I'm not gonna get, obviously. One hit left. 
I hate how when you get one hit left, it just sends you right back to the beginning when you die. I just jump over everything and hit the button as much as I can. Oh wait, that can't that kind of cornered me though. Oh, I got my extra life back, I think. Nope, it's everything after five, I think, gets you the extra life. I still have not quite figured out that rule yet. A sucker I'm into tripping over that stuff. And then he's gone. got two chances at this and then I think we're probably gonna let it go after this and I got sucked up by a vacuum all right guys so give me just one second here I'll try something new One second here. Alrighty, so we've switched it over here. And I think I'm gonna give the final grade for this game. The gameplay is only gonna get about a 20, or excuse me, the controls are about gonna get about a 20. Because, well, they're not really that responsive. <clears throat> the music and sound, which I usually double at 50, is gonna get like a I'll give that, let's say, a 40, because the music is too repetitive and the sound sounds like something you'd find on the Atari. And uh, the graphics, you'll get a 20 from me. So we have a 40, a 20, and a 20. That's an 80 total. I want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. Thank you for watching, and game on, everybody.